Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. What are you throwing? Little white shad. What's your name? Nice. When I met Dan along the Ocean County stretch on Wednesday morning, we had glassy conditions at sunup and Peanut Bunker in tight getting harassed by striped bass. Not a lot, mind you, and it's sometimes just as frustrating as blind casts when no bait is present. But it sure feels at this point like we're moving into a new phase of fall fishing here at the Jersey Shore. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And for me, as of Tuesday afternoon, it finally feels like things are turning around. Tuesday afternoon, working along a stretch in, in Northern Ocean County, right inside the fleet. In fact, the fleet was so close in along the beach, I could have passed a sandwich over to Jimmy Frieda from the surf. This is the shot from the bow rail of the Peanut Bunker Explosion. Northern Ocean County snagged one of the little buggers myself as I was cycling through all kinds of plastics and poppers and, and, uh, and different plugs. No, I couldn't throw it back like that. I would have had to transfer it over to a circle hook, of course. I know I talk a lot about Ocean County. It's where I live. It's where I grew up. And here along the Northern, County Ocean, the Northern Ocean County stretch uh, from Point uh, all the way down to Island Beach State Park, one of the center points for the fall run of striped bass. And here, I'm at Charlie's Bait and Tackle, Route 35 in Normandy Beach. It's also the host of a great little tournament coming up for Thanksgiving weekend. It is the 10th annual Turkey Day Striper Tournament. So if you've got family and friends coming in for the holidays, you have until Wednesday the 24th to sign up. It's a catch and release striper tournament. It's a great event. It's also followed by an incredible party at Used to Be's on the 27th. So make sure you stop in here to Charlie's Bait and Tackle and take advantage of that for the family and the kiddies, everybody who's coming into town for that Thanksgiving weekend. In the Southern Ocean County stretch, where I grew up, down along Long Beach Island, you also have another tournament that continues through December 12th. That's the Long Beach Island Surf Fishing Classic, the 67th annual LBI Derby and that is a slot keeper tournament. Prizes every day for slot stripers and some good ones being reported along that 18 mile long barrier island. Top keeper slot in that contest is Rich Bergman who brought this 36 incher into Surf City Bait and Tackle for weigh-in on Saturday from Barnegat Light. That fish on the nose, 18 pounds. So again, if you're looking to drum up some stripers, in the next couple of days, in the coming weeks, all the way through December 12th. Make sure you check in on that LBI Surf Fishing Classic. And yes, there are slots, but they're not all slots. There's some good overfish in the mix as well. My buddy Bob Misak sent this shot from the north end of Barnegat Light. It's Mike Brophy with his first fish ever, 50 inches. Are you kidding me? Photo by Chris Maffey. First striper goes 50 inches. I'd love to tell you, Mike, that it gets better from here but I don't know how it possibly can. I know, I know, now, what's that mean for South Jersey into Atlantic and Cape May County, talking about my home stretch in Ocean County? Well, I heard from Andy at Riptide Bait and Tackle. This week, Chip here caught and released this 45-incher at 7.15 a.m. on Sunday on the north end of Brigantine using some of those Riptide rotters. So the clams are getting it done as well, baiting up in the surf. In our Beach Talk report this week, the folks at Fanatics in Ocean City said spiny dogs have been a nuisance. I had one breaching in front of me the other day. It was swimming back and forth, came in at my feet. So that might be a little bit more noticeable in terms of having problems with the spinies if you're baiting up, though those dogs are far more aggressive even on some of the jigs and plugs than they've ever been before in my recollection. Tim here reported to Sea Isle Bait and Tackle. A great afternoon from the Sea Isle Surf earlier this week with over a dozen undersized striped bass. So that's a good sign. While Brandon at Avalon Hodgepodge reported on Sunday that the 8th Street Jetty has been the center point there for most action with schooly bass and the occasional keeper as well. Word is that a few of the Sharpies are still bringing in a few weak fish on some pink finesse, uh, maybe some pink zooms. And I'm hoping to hear from some of the tight-lipped crew about maybe a few speckled trout at some point as well. Maybe some redfish, too. But from what I gather from looking at these creeks and inlets, I was just talking to Pete here at Charlie's. He says Back Bay here, Upper Barnegat Bay, still loaded with bait. I'm seeing the same thing in Beaver Dam Creek. And throughout the stretch, a lot of 
peanut bunker in the back starting to move out in waves through the various inlets. So expect some quantity at our feet as well as quality fish. Just remember to stow an assortment of goodies in the plug bag from paddle tails and poppers to tins, teasers, and of course, those sand eel imitations as well. Heading up to the North Country, Monmouth County, Raritan Bay, the striper hits keep coming up out of that region. Captain Joe aboard Sauerkraut out of Leonardo said 10-year-old Jack from Alaro had his first ever striper, a nice 40-pounder, released to fight another day. All these first fish over 40 pounds, I think my first fish was a sunny, like about that big. The surf report out of the tackle box in Hazlitt. Uh, had bass blowing up in and around Sandy Hook over the weekend, front to back, as bait and the fish spill out of the local rivers there. Again, same thing, plenty of peanuts, uh, plenty of bunker around up along the Raritan Bay, and as more of those baits start funneling down the beaches, let's hope stripers continue to feed as well. Phil suggested all sorts of shads, bucktails, poppers, plugs, swimmers, all taking fish along that northern stretch. Word is a 10-year-old Joey Jeske got in on some of that action at night recently, out back in the rare, in a 27-incher on an SP minnow. Dad Joe said he's been scoring a mess of fish in the 22 to 38 inch range as well on Ava jigs, SPs, and soft plastics. Again, just talking to Pete here at Charlie's uh, about the Ava jigs. We're getting some reports down here along the Ocean County stretch, guys, hooking up with some Avas, uh, but still have not seen hide nor hair of the sand eels. So hopefully that will uh, transpire this season as well. Again, quantity fish uh, as we head into the new year, because I think it's really gonna be solid all the way into 2022. From where, when, and how these fish arrive and continue to arrive, I just don't know anymore. If you followed along with our Northeast striped bass study, they could be coming in from offshore. They could be flowing out the rivers, up the Hudson River as well. But uh, along that south shore of Long Island from Montauk down, that's usually where we expect that run of stripers to come. Well, I spoke to Matt Broderick, our, new, our Long Island edition editor. Earlier this week, he said there's plenty of fish along that south shore. Uh, so if there's a mess of fish there, I'd just recommend to break out the hand warmers because things are just starting to get heating up here at the Jersey Shore. For those wondering if they're hitting the open beaches or grabbing the mojos, the majas, uh, or the, the jigging outfits for the boat, uh, looks like dreaded south-southwest in the forecast for Thursday, but more bait pushing and hopefully water chilling northwesterlies uh, on Friday. And from this weekend, the look is midweek at, at least, that it should be mostly variable winds. So all in all, should be a good weekend ahead. Charlie's here, uh, Pete was just looking at the long-term forecast. We might have some nasty to start the week, but hopefully by Thanksgiving weekend, things are fantastic. If you're frustrated with the unders and the overs and still looking for a fish dinner, the folks at Fisherman's Den in Belmar on the Shark River tell us some bulkheaders like Marty Westerfield of Wall, New Jersey, doing well with the winter flounder, believe it or not. Quick limit for Marty, as well as a few throwbacks as well. Blackfish too. According to the folks at Fisherman's Den, uh, we're back up to that five fish bag limit in the Garden State, a 15 inch minimum size, and plenty of head boats are sailing out of Shark River, Manasquan, the Raritan, Barnegat, all the way down into Cape May, and of course, down into Delaware uh, for that blackfish action uh, out along the wrecks and reef sites, the reef sites in Delaware, of course, uh, and they're also producing some, uh, some black sea bass. And as long as this water stays warm, I wouldn't be surprised if the black sea bass are closed closer inshore on some of those snags than you might normally find. Congratulations, by the way, out of Lewis, Delaware. I believe that Gregory Frizzetti ended up with the top TOG honors in the Lewis Harbor Marina TOG tournament with this 11.33 pounder he caught on the Grizzly with Captain Carey just this past Thursday. Eric Burnley, our Delaware field editor, he lets me know that small stripers are on bucktails out of the Indian River Inlet area, but otherwise everyone there is just doing the same thing as people in Cape May County, waiting for this slug of good-sized striped bass to make their way south along the Delaware coast. A few more chilly nights is probably what we need 
And from the looks of things out west in the Poconos, it's getting downright frosty with a week to go before Thanksgiving. Well, things around here in the Poconos are getting, well, let's say a little bit frosty, but you can't expect much this time of year. I mean, it's mid-November, but I'll tell you what, a lot of time at this time of year, a lot of guys are heading out in the woods or they're down in the salt chasing those big striper and leaving a lot of these lakes and creeks, well, let's say underutilized, but there's a lot of great fishing guys if you're around here and want to take advantage of it. You know, Jim's been talking about the stock trout bite in New Jersey for quite some time. As a matter of fact, all year he's been mentioning it. And there's there's a couple guys taking advantage of it. I wanted to touch in with that. Justin Lerner was out uh, in New Jersey uh, hitting that stock trout bite and managed to get into a beast of a rainbow trout. And he managed to get that one, of all things, a trout magnet. Now, most guys don't think of them for these huge trout, but they really do produce. It's a good, consistent bait. Maybe give one a try if you're out there in New Jersey checking out some trout. Now, over here in Pennsylvania, we're having a great trout bite as well. Our guru, Eric Goodstall, managed to get into a 15-incher, a holdover, on a dry fly. He's putting his fly rod back to work. So good time of year for that. So you get out and get the rainbows, even some browns this time of year. And guys, if you're not into trout, you can always go out for those jumbo perch. Our good friend Josh Taylor out jigging up some perch. Always a great alternative if you want to get on the water. Now, if you guys haven't heard it by now, the Pennsylvania Fishing Boat has announced there's a new state record for walleye. That's right. Rich Nicholson managed to get this 34-inch, 18-pound, one ounce walleye. Can you imagine? And that was out on the uh, Yogaheni River. Now I can imagine there's a lot of traffic on the Yogaheni River this coming weekend knowing there's fish like that in there. But congratulations, Rich. What a great catch. Lots of fish in here, guys. Don't remember, it's, it's going to get cold, but there's still great fish. And the smallmouth is good. And of course, the walleye is good, as you can see from Rich. Anyway, get out and get on them. Be safe in the woods, in the salt, or on the freshwater. And uh, we'll see you next next time. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. The November edition of the Fisherman Magazine is still out there on newsstands for a few more days. Pick up a copy now for details on fishing that sand eel bite if and when it does materialize. I'm pretty sure it will. Gearing up for Tog, Delaware River Walleye, the dimpled wrecks of Ocean City and Townsend Inlet, and my feature on an initiative for change, a new call for angler management going on at the Mid-Atlantic Fishery Management Council. If you want to know how your fish sausages are made and who's trying to stuff them with all kinds of artificial ingredients, be sure to check that out. We're laying out the December edition right now. It goes to print this Sunday night. Uh, that's where our complete holiday gift guide is compiled. So if you're looking for some Black Friday ideas, well, that's where you're going to find it in that December edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Hit the beach, my friends. And as Alan Fund once said, don't be surprised if someone somewhere comes up to you and says, smile, you're on candid camera. No spot burns, we're good, trust me. Catch them up. And here are the Dreamboat standings. The Dreamboat Challenge approaches its final stretch. Joseph Yam's latest entry with a 4.74 pound sea bass puts him into first place by adding four more points to his total, landing him as the current leader. There is still plenty of time to enter your catch. Check the Dreamboat standings online each week as we approach the last day to catch a fish, which is November 30th. Good luck. The Dreamboat Fishing Challenge is the fisherman subscriber-only multi-species fishing competition with a chance to win a new Steiger Craft Center console powered by Yamaha, along with many other great prizes. Subscribe now to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the action. Steigercraft boats, built by people who fish our waters. Serious English choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you.